Hey, hello everyone. In the last video, uh, we studied about the impulse response of the second order uh, discrete time system. We solve one numerical. Uh, now in this session, we are going to verify using the uh, MATLAB programming. So as, as we discussed in the previous uh, session, our equation was generated. So the equation which was generated in the previous lecture, it is x uh, if you remember that equation or you can go to the my video and uh, uh, you can see uh, that so that equation was given by z square okay divided by, divided by z square minus 1 by 2 z minus 1 by 4 okay so this was the equation uh, which was generated in the last lecture i can show you that uh, equation also here so you can see here the equation which was generated here it is the last time equation which was generated okay so this is the equation which we have generated in the last time so you can easily see this equation over here now uh, we will proceed further so i will close my video and i will switch over to the matlab programming so i want to perform the matlab programming of this so let me clear so i have given the heading that is impulse response of the discrete time system okay uh, let me take the eraser to erase this okay name now <clears throat> first we'll write down the coefficients of numerator so numerator only have uh, it is a z square so we will put numerator coefficient as a 1 0 0 as uh, numerator is has only z square there is no z term and there is no constant term so we put the numerator then we will go for a denominator in a denominator the coefficients are 1 minus 1 by 2 and another one is a minus 1 by 2 four so we have this numerator and denominator now we have to determine the transfer function out of this so how to determine the transfer function out of this so to determine the transfer function out of this we will use the command system is equal to transfer function we want numerator comma denominator okay if we use this simple command and if we run this code you will observe that in a in on a command window you will you are getting the output in s domain but you want it is in this into the z domain so for that the sampling time it is must be given uh, to convert this into the discrete time domain so uh, for time being i don't want uh, sampling time at a specific so i will keep the sampling time as a minus one and if i run this once again so you can observe whatever the previous uh, equation z square divided by z square minus 0.5 z minus 0.25 so i'm getting this value um, i'm getting this system function which is in the discrete time domain transfer function let's move further uh, after getting the transfer function uh, we have to find out the poles of the system so what are the poles Poles of the system. So poles of the system is uh, nothing but the roots of denominator. So whatever the roots. So the command is for that roots. Roots of what denominator. So let's see uh, what I'm getting the values for this. So if I type this, so on the command window I'm getting the two poles at uh, 0 0.8090 and another pole is at minus 0 0.3090. So uh, whatever the, we got a solution in the previous session, I'm getting the uh, same output over here in the poles. So uh, we want to find out whether my system is stable or unstable. To find out the system is stable or unstable, we have to generate the pole zero plot. So how to generate the pole zero plot so uh, let's begin uh, so I want the pole zero plot in Z domain so how I can go for Z domain so here I will type I want pole zero plot so to get the pole, pole zero plot I we will go for a Z plan Z plan numerator comma denominator so and if i if i run this command you can see here i am getting the pole zero plot 
okay so with the title as a pole zero plot real values of real part and imaginary part suppose you want to grid on into this so you can turn on the grid so uh, further you can decorate with the anything so you can see there are the two poles which is located inside the unit circle from this we have to determine the stability okay so how we can determine the stability of the system so if okay so there is a condition if any pole is going outside to the unit circle then it is the unstable system if it is inside the unit circle then it is the stable system so how we can determine the stability of the system so for that we have to put the logic of a so uh, we have determined the poles and then uh, we will go to, uh, for the taking the logic that uh, if poles are if whatever the poles we have determined if all poles if all okay so uh, just a minute Okay, so we will calculate the absolute values of pole if absolute value of all poles is less than 1 then you can display system is stable as why the system is stable as all poles are inside unit circle if any pole is going outside the unit circle then the system is unstable so else i can define i can display uh, i will add this display over here so display system is unstable as any pole any pole or poles is or are outside the unit circle if any one pole is going to the outside to the unit circle then uh, system will become unstable so let's run this code and observe uh, what we are getting so it is giving some error so let's remove the error so uh, okay so i have typed the command of if else uh, but i have not given the end to that so i have to type end over here so then i will run this system okay so you can see i am getting this pole zero plot and here uh, on the command window i can see the system is stable as all poles are inside the unit circle the absolute values of all poles are lies inside the unit circles and the system is stable so by this way we determine the stability now what we have to determine uh, we have to find out the impulse response of the system so i want to find out the impulse response of the system up to n is equal to 20. so how to get the impulse response of the system for up to n is equal to 20 uh, that we will see uh, i want the uh, h of t with respect to time so how i can get h of t with respect to time uh, where time is a discrete one so here i will type h t is equal to i m p z so i m p z is command used for the impulse response in the digital filter so i m p z of numerator comma denominator which is in the z domain okay so uh, for n values okay so i want n that is n value is equal to n is equal to 20 then i want to plot it so uh, which type of plot i want this stem plot stem plot of what stem okay s t e m stem plot of time versus what is the y axis over here y axis is h and i want this okay so what is the use of field that i will see the latter we will see the latter let's run this 
okay so you can see the impulse response i am getting here but this circle is a hollow one i want it is a dark filled up so uh, i will type here field okay then uh, i want the line width also uh, line width i want to increase so uh, i have to type line width line width i increase up to the twice so i will increase the line width up to the twice then uh, y label okay so the new matlab is very interactive it gives you the command so y label on the y axis there are uh, h of n and on x side there are the values of n okay so here are the values of n now uh, we will keep the grid on and again i will run this command so you can see this is the this is this your same plot see this system is h of n system is going in this stable condition you can observe it is go converging to a final value means it is h of n is the stable systems which you are getting so uh, we can type the titles to this also so title what is the title of this it is a uh, impulse response of the second order discrete time system okay so let's run once again okay so i'm getting this so from this how we can publish the report so here what we have determined impulse response so what i will do uh, i will keep a percentage sign here and uh, which is only just for information impulse response okay i will create a section uh, at appropriate point so you can see the first section is created over here now i want the another section okay i want the first section over here so insert so you can go into this view and uh, sorry you can go into the publish and here you will find the section break so this is my section break i don't want a title for that section break here again i want a section break so i will click over here that is a section break and transfer function it's itself my title okay then uh, i want to pole zero one more section is at pole zero plot so i will create a section break and a pole zero plot see the beauty of this whatever i'm doing now again i want a section break over here and uh, i want a stability at this point which, which is determined and again at this point uh, i will create one more section section break with the section title as the impulse response now let us observe uh, let us go to the publish report if i click to the publish report there are some options in the publish so while uh, you can give this is in html format or pdf format now i will generate in the html format first i will click on the publish when i click to this publish so it will display everything okay so it is printed now you can see the report so this is a very fantastic report you are getting impulse response contains are the transfer function pole zero plot stability improvement so whatever the equation i have given in the latex format so it is giving printing the equation numerator denominator value i have not put the semicolon here so that's why it it, it is printed the denominator value then transfer function is printed over here after the transfer function there are poles uh, which we have determined of the system then pole zero plot is here you can observe uh, stability whether the system is stable or unstable and for impulse response it is a value of h and t are printed and its graph is there okay so you can observe that in this everything uh, you will get in form of report uh, you can take the pdf report out of that also again that that was that is also very fantastic function of this matlab so you can click here and you can change this html uh, as a pdf okay so i have changed it to the pdf now let's uh, do some some small correction into this i don't want to display uh this uh, i want to display the system function i want to display the poles um i want this i want to display this z plane let's see in this z plane can i increase the line width will the line width command will work with this or not 
uh, that we will check. So I think this line width will not work with this. So let's check uh, editor and run it. Okay, I think this is giving the error. So this line width command is not working with the uh, Z plane uh, polypole zero plot. So let's move further again. So what we will do in this program, we will remove this line width one. Okay. So then it will display the stability, then impulse response. I don't want to display the values of H and T. So click on this, run this. So you will get this output and again go to the view. In this view, uh, so in this publish button, you can click to the publish. Okay, so uh, I think I have uh, my file is open here so that it is not writing or writing. So I will close that file first. Then I will click it on. Okay, it is publishing just to wait. Okay. Let's, let's create the PDF report. Uh, it will create the fantastic PDF report out of this also. So I'm pausing the video for uh, some duration. Okay, in this publish setting, uh, I have edited this publication as a PDF. Now I will run this uh, publish button. So it will run your entire code first and it will create a publish the report. Okay, so let this report to be appear on the screen. Meanwhile, I'm pausing the video. Okay, here you can see uh, the fantastic report which is generated. That is impulse response of a DTS, then transfer function, its pole zero plot, then stability of the system, then impulse response of the systems. So you can create your own report in the MATLAB. So uh, hope uh, you have enjoyed this video that is the impulse response of the disc second order discrete time system. So by changing the numerator and denominator term, you can uh, determine the, determine the uh, stability, everything in this program for any transfer function, not only second order, first order, third order, any order systems you can determine. So you might have observed that when I have run this code, uh, in this there are two poles are appearing. So let me show the polls. Okay, so again, I'm running this code. Okay, so let's check in the PDF. Okay, so you can observe in this PDF, uh, there are two polls. It is indicating two, two, sorry, two zeros. Two zeros are appearing at the origin. So two zeros and there are the two poles which is inside the unit circle. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you and kindly subscribe my channel.